Greetings! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. If you were here, uh, if you were here on Friday, um, welcome back to the our music making streams. 
um, the second second of these music making streams. Uh, I'm gonna catch the chat and camera just a second. Hello, hello, bunny with the switchblade. Hello, Judy man. I did see you in the in in the chat there. Um, so before before I kind of get started with things today, um, Twig was so great to eat is here as well. Hello, I'm so glad you could all make it. Um, I hope you can hear me okay uh, over the music. I can turn that down a little bit if that's still a little bit too loud. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. I have... Uh, so since the last stream, uh, I've uh, I've come up with like a story to that we can to, to kind of have underneath the game. What is a twiglet? It would take so long. So a, a twiglet is it's basically like a, a sort of corn snack that is covered in like marmite or like sort of uh, uh, yeast es extract that kind of vegemite marmite thing it's very it's i think it's a very it's a very much like a, a christmas snack here in the uk uh, they're not my thing but i my, my dad really likes them i know that um but yeah so that's a th that's that is the end of the twiglet segment of today's stream so, um, it's absolutely okay to eat them all year round as well. Um, but yeah, oh, I've, sorry, I've still got that turned up. So, uh, I have a story for, uh, the imaginary soundtrack that we're making. I have a story, uh, all set up, um, which is real good. And, um, I have, uh, since the last stream, I've kind of had a bit of a think and I've had an idea of where I want to go with it. So, I. Uh, I've, it's a little bit more developed than than it was before, which is which is which is interesting, of course, and that's that's nice as well. I think. Um, another, so something to probably start the stream off with, just in uh, in the interest of, of newsy bits. Uh, so this morning uh, I received a notification that I've tested positive for COVID. So uh, I feel fine just now. Um, it's just I've got a little bit of a sore throat, uh, which I don't know if you can hear, but I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Um, and uh, I'm feeling okay, but I might have to cancel the rest of the week's streams depending on depending on if, if how how well I am uh, in the next 24 hours or so. But I am here now. Uh, I'm able to to make music. I'm excited to be making some music. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, wear a mask and get tested. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still it's still out there. Um, but enough of that. Let's let's get on. Let's get on to, to talking about music stuff. So uh, let's go to the screen. So this is the image that we are that we are basing our soundtrack off. Um, we came up with a few names yesterday, and I like them all. And it was. We came up with the idea of maybe using the story of Persephone as a as a as a base for the story, um, which I really liked. I thought that was a fantastic idea. Um, but uh, awesome! Well done on getting your second vaccine. Uh, I, I've um, both me and my partner have been vaccined, second vaccinated, double dosed. That's the phrase I was looking for. <laughs> double dosed for a while, um, and uh, we're we're waiting on our waiting on our boosters. Um, but like I said, we're both absolutely fine just now. Um, so we're, we're just we're just inside for about a week and a bit, which is not the worst thing. Um, I think we're, we're very lucky at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is our this is the image that we've been working on, and uh, we kind of came up with a few ideas, came up with a few melodic ideas, and I've load, what I've done is I've loaded those into um loaded those into my the ideas that we've had so far i've loaded them into uh the my my door and i've been playing around with them and uh kind of had uh, a couple of ideas and things which i'll explain in a second uh bunny with the switchblade says woohoo i got my booster two weeks ago sending you good good vibes for quarantine thank you so much um again my partner and i are very lucky in that we have things to do like like I've got this to be working on. This this uh, ends on Sunday, so I've got time to play around with it and come up with new ideas and things. Um, I'm just hoping that I'm you know well enough to sit at a computer and, and do things um, and do 
very sort of fiddly music work. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to play you what I've got. I'm going to talk about what I've got, and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about the story idea I came up with for the for this imaginary game that we are composing a soundtrack to, uh, and then uh, we can record some more. We can we can make some more stuff. We can do some more practice. Um, so I'm just going to pause the music for a second so I can I can play you this, and I'm just going to. So uh, if you could tell me if you can hear any of this, that would be that'd be great. Let me stick my headphones on. So uh, yeah, let me know if you can if you can hear this when it when it starts playing. So is that audible? Can you hear hear that? I hope you can. Otherwise, this is going to be a difficult stream. <laughs> Just want to check you can hear that that is audible it's not just it's not just dead air excellent good So that's where we're at so far. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not really going anywhere. It doesn't have a melody. It's. It's just sort of growing. Um, but that's a, certainly a good place to start. Um, but uh, I'm glad that you can hear me. Uh, also, don't worry about uh, your spelling and your and your chat messages. That's absolutely fine. As long as I can understand what they're talking about, then uh, then it doesn't matter. Like typo away. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit through about what each of what each of these tracks are doing. Um, uh, you, the, you can kind of see the labels, and some of them are a little bit um, weird in terms of how they're titled, but I'll talk through them. So, first one is uh, no, well, this one. Uh, this track up here, it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to mute uh, these two as well. Hang on, I need to use my fingers. Nope, that's a solo. I want to. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a I've got a, a light pad down here. Uh, I don't know if you can be able to see it. 
So I've got a pad down here that controls, um, that I use as a controller for, for stuff on the screen. And it's just remembering what button does what. Um, so first off, we have, uh, we have our piano, which is kind of our, which is our Wurlitzer piano. It's the piano, piano sound I was playing with uh, on Friday. Um, so that's there, and uh, that's the kind of main basis of the of this of the song. Uh, on top of that, we also have a uh, a sine wave track, which is here. We're just adding a bit of extra color. This just adds a little bit extra, which is really nice. And I just put everything back on. Um, I'll get to those in a second. And that's just the chord sequence we, we worked out on Friday. Um, it just repeats. Everything's just on a loop just now. Nothing's really going anywhere. So next up, the next thing that gets added, it's, uh, that's track three. So it'll be this one. So this is a plugin. It's a free plugin from Spitfire Audio uh, called Frozen Strings. And this is just a, a cello voicing. Um, just bump the volume up there so you can hear it a bit better. So what it is, it's a group of string players that were put into a recording space, basically in, in an industrial fridge. And then they recorded some string samples. And you get these beautiful, quite squeaky, squeaky noises. I really like it. I love this one for textures. It adds a really nice bit of texture. I'm just gonna cut back here. So, and then if you put all those three together, you've got quite a nice, it's quite a lovely grand soundscape, which I, I really like. Um, that feels quite full already, I think. Um, and the next fun thing that was added was the guitar parts that we, that we played with yesterday. If you're listening on headphones, you'll definitely get the full effect of this. I don't think you'll probably get it if you're playing it through, uh, through say like a phone speaker. Um, you probably won't get this, get the effect, but I'll explain it all the same. But this is very much your kind of, your big, big stereo effects. So these are, this is an acoustic guitar, this is two acoustic guitar parts playing at the same time. And I'll explain them in a bit. So, what's happening here, um, you have two guitar parts, um, you've got the left channel, just playing one, and then you've got the second guitar part, which is playing the same notes. Um, the capo on the capo on the guitar has been moved up a couple of frets, and um, the and it's the plucking pattern is slightly different. But if you play them together, you get this lovely sort of stereo guitar effect, uh, which it just when you add it to the rest of the mix. which adds just a lot of lovely, nice extra texture uh, to it as well. So that's where we're at. That's, that's the track. The only other thing that I haven't explained are these mysterious uh, blue tracks down here. So uh, Waves, Waves uh, the company that brings out uh, lots and lots of different effects. Um, they actually did the uh, electric guitar. This is the uh, Wurlitzer piano track that I'm using for the uh, for for the main piano part. But they also re recently released a new plugin called uh, RetroFi, which is this plugin here. And what it is, it's a lo-fi effect. It's a lo-fi kind of tape effect 
sort of from, from making lo-fi music, essentially. I'm slightly annoyed that they decided to release it the day after I had released a, a, lo a, a collection of lo-fi remixes for The Tower. Uh, I was like, oh, this, this could have been handy like a month ago. Um, I mean, I bought it anyway. <laughs> I'll probably use it again. Uh, I, typical. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, but I was playing around with it today. I'm still trying to kind of work out how to use it properly. Um, but I thought this would be an interesting way to test it out. So what I've done is I've I've linked uh, this track. I think I've linked all the tracks, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've linked all the tracks to this one here, which is playing a uh, um, this kind of sound. It's quite quiet, but... It's quite a crunched sound. Um, but then we also have uh, a lo-fi reverb channel, which I've linked these top two here. So these two are going into this track over here. And it's adding just a lot of extra color to it, if you just listen to it. It's quite quiet. So it's... Can't hear it. Ah, oh, come on. It's sort of a slightly off-kilter reverb, but it's also been kind of crunched. It's quite, quite spoopy. But if you add them together, it just adds just that nice little bit of extra texture to the opening. Um, I'm glad it's sounding good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. And then if you when you add that to the to the to the guitars. Just having these two extra tracks just makes it sound much more full right away. Like Especially given that um like, I haven't added any mastering to that yet. I haven't um, done any EQing or mastering or compression or anything like that. That's pretty much just raw recordings, which is pretty good, which is great, especially for the guitar parts. Like, I'd normally need to do a lot of mixing, but um, that's come out really well. Um, so I think probably the next thing to do... Because what we're missing right now, at least in, in terms of how this track is growing is we need uh, a bass part and uh, yeah, we need sort of like a bass part, but then we also need uh, a melody as well because we are, we are without a melody right now. So uh, for the melody, I've been playing around with uh, my beautiful Moog grandmother synth, just coming up with some lead sounds um, like this. Can we actually add an input there so you can hear it? just to add a little bit because right now I think one thing that it's missing is the sort of it's missing kind of the high end so that's kind of what I'm gonna put it I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of put it leave it I'm gonna record everything and then I'm gonna think about how it comes together in terms of layering and things I think the melody is probably gonna come in towards the end kind of with the with the rest of the with the rest of the tracks like I want to add uh, drums and some other kind of slightly more chip tuny aspects to it as well. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna go with uh, with this for now, and then we'll see if anything if anything comes of it, and then see if we want to turn it into anything else. So let's add ourselves a new track. Uh, so this is gonna be a lead. So it needs to be oh nope, that's not what I wanted to do there. So it needs to be I suppose it's a nice bright pink color. There we go. Um, yeah, cool, right, well, let's, Moog, so that's input number two, so that's, that's 
coming through nice there. So let's let's play around. Let's see what happens. <laughs> chill is good chill is nice like the idea is it's meant to grow and and it's meant to be quite a gentle soundtrack it's meant to be quite a gentle imaginary game that we're we're dealing with here uh so <laughs> This is where you find out how much of a hack musician I am with the amount of like copy pasting I do when I'm when I'm making music. Especially when it comes to soundtrack stuff. Okay. So let's see what that sounds like with everything in it. That's nice. I'm pleased with that. I think it's I think it's still sounding way too much like everything else that I make. <laughs> but uh, but that's not a bad thing. Some people some people I'm reliably informed like my music, so uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. But that's good. That's 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 a nice melody. I don't know if there's maybe a, a, is there a counter melody I can put on that. Let's find out. Let's find out if we can stick a counter melody on that. Let's I'm gonna just keep that. So we just do the notes. Oh no 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 no! Okay, those sounds th those sounds do not gel together at all. <laughs> That's gonna get a lot louder. I'm gonna turn that down. Slightly more chip tuny, I think. Um... I have a distinctive style. Thank you. That's a very charitable way of looking at what I do. <laughs> I like, like, yeah, I like doing this sort of stuff. This is, this is fun. This is, this is interesting to me, but I, sometimes I do wish I could do the slightly more, uh, you know, kind of, you know. Because this, this does have a sequencer on it, which is probably my favorite thing. Like. I do all sorts of fun things with this. I love this. Sorry, I'm messing about. Right. Turn that off. Fun. Thank you. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. I... I... Boss battle, yes. You see, okay, so here's 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 a thought I have had, right? I have had an idea for 
extra music we can make rather than just this one track. We can make like a boss theme, which I'm really excited to make. So that's potentially another thing once we've got this one done is to make a boss, some boss music. Um, uh, what chords are we using? That sounds a bit... Mm. got something I think we got something there hi Erasmus it's so good to see you back on the stream it has been a while but it's good to have you back play a boss battle game and download a resource pack for the boss and use the music then so uh, I have done that before <laughs> but uh, one of the rules of the OST comp jam is you are specifically not allowed to use Sample packs. You're not allowed to use sound fonts or anything from other games. Because normally I'd use a whole load of like sounds from like Earthbound uh, or like The Legend of Zelda, but um, not allowed to use them specifically for for the OST comp jam. So that is a very good suggestion. I'm not above doing that, <laughs> but for this specific um, for this specific thing, we're not allowed not allowed to do that. Uh, otherwise, I'd be doing it all the time. Um, I understand why it's there. They're kind of wanting some sort of more original stuff. But yeah. Uh, what are we going to call this? Let's call this uh, Chip Synth 1. There we go. Um, that's that's going to be on... on. Oh, hello. Put that on input 2. <laughs> I could stick this all the way down. I'm not gonna no. <laughs> oh, just the one. Okay. okay, let's turn that off. Please feel free to lurk. Lurking is absolutely fine. Like essentially all I'm doing I'm just gonna be here working. Uh, so, uh, I will also be, this is me getting work done, um, and I hope, I hope it's nice to listen to, uh, and yeah, if, if you are a musician, if you're interested in this kind of thing, like, feel free to ask me a question, I'm happy to, happy to, to answer questions if I, if I'm able to answer them. <laughs> um, I will talk about the story that I've kind of got behind this game, this imaginary game, and what I'm kind of aiming towards in a bit, um, for the time being, I want to get these extra parts done, and then we can start getting to the fun bits. Not that this isn't fun. I'm very much enjoying this. So I've I've also incidentally forgotten the thing I literally was just playing two seconds ago. Let's give it a go. Let's hit record and see what happens. Uh, helps if you turn the click track on first so you can actually, actually know when you're coming in. Ugh. No? 
Oh, all right. So the cat just came into the room. <laughs> she may be back. Like the cat may come back later, and we can we can get some cat on stream content, which is what we're all here for. I've forgotten what I was playing literally two seconds ago. This oh. Some, something like that. That will that will that will do us nicely for now. So let's take that off for a start. Is that gonna affect it? Like that that's sounding good but I think it's sounding a little bit too clean so I'm going to add a bit crusher so what this does is it essentially so bit crushing if, if you remember when if you're old enough to remember playing uh, sort of Sega games in the 90s or very very old computer games having those really kind of crushed voice clips um, that's called bit crushing. It's when you're taking a very, very big file and you're trying to make it, trying to strip out all the layers to it until it, it's the right size. And this kind of does something similar. So let's see what this sounds like. Just makes it sound a bit older, which I quite like. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Just gonna send that to the other lo fi channels. That's nice. We've got a melody now. It's 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 not much, I don't think, but I think we're all right. Uh, so let's let's get some bass parts on the go. Let's go find the right noise.
just throw that underneath there. Because there can be more than one bass track, and there can be more than one bass sound. That is very important. Okay, let's turn that off. Turn that on. Input number two. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let's let's go for it. Let's let's hit record and see what, see where we end up. Let's turn the click track on. Crystal Caverns vibes. Well, that's good. That's a good place. That's a good place to go. You know, I think it's a good vibe to have. That works. I'm happy with that. That's just so. The full thing right now is this. Well, obviously, slightly quieter because that's way loud. A little bit of extra texture. Might be curious to add it underneath here. See where it comes up. This might be a bit too much, but we'll give it a go. Ooh. I don't hate it. That's quite nice. Let me see if I stick a bit crusher on this. Oh no, 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 no. What a nice, warm, fuzzy bass. Can we boost that, do you reckon? Let's have a look. Mm, that's nice, I can go with that.
So I'm just seeing if there's a... Okay, okay. I'm liking how it's sounding so far. That's... However, I think we are ready to move on to the next phase. The next stage, rather. So let's get all this sorted out. Let's throw this on there. Okay, let's actually make sure that slot it on there nicely. So I think it's time we add in our good friend, the piano. So uh, for this sound, I'm going to use the Spitfire Audio, f uh, where's it gone? Felt piano. This is one of my favorite piano sounds. It's the same one I believe that was used on Celeste, um, but it's really, really good. I'd say it's an industry standard kind of, um, kind of piano sound. Uh, it's, it's the one I use on everything. I've got a lovely one called Firewood Piano as well that I also really like that I might use, but we'll, we'll use this one to record first. Um, so let's get this. Is that gonna... Yep, so for this one, for this one, you're going to have to follow me over to the second, second, uh, camera over here. Let me just get rid of that notebook. You're not supposed to see that. Uh, <laughs> so let's go. I'm gonna have to move the microphone over, so bear with me just a second. Right. Oh, so many wires. So many wires. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm trying to keep this sounding quite happy. Seventh, so we're wanting. I think that works really, really well. That's, that's, let's give that a go. Of course, I need to go all the way back over to the uh, to the thing. Right. Let's make sure this has got the channel. Let's go.
And I'm happy with that. This side is pretty good. I'm sorry how much of a dad I am, but I get all that side sorted. Right. Okay, and we're back. And we're back over here now. Pop that up there so you can actually see me. Okay, so let us sort this out. So, uh, took us a great tweet. Is there a set runtime for how long these pieces of music can be? Uh, no. So the. The only stipulation is there has to be at least three minutes worth of music. It can be one track, it can be a whole whole suite of tracks. Um, for the last entry that I did for uh, OST Comp Jam, for the, for the very first um, OST Comp Jam, uh, I, I think it was like a four or five track um, EP that I ended up doing. A four track, I think, actually. Uh, whereas with this one, I wanted to do something that was definite, that was much more... Uh, based around adaptive music. I like the idea of music growing as you progress. Like, I've always liked that. Um, and so, kind of with this one, the plan, at least at the moment, that could, it could absolutely change, is uh, I'll have one long piece of music that I'm hoping we get to maybe about six, seven minutes. Uh, and then we have individual loops for each kind of level. Uh, because what what I'm kind of aiming for with this one is that, as we kind of talked about in the in the, in the last stream, is that we have a... Uh, is that it's a puzzle game where it's, you know, it starts off quite, you know, at least at the beginning, and I've got back to where the picture is. You know, it's sort of this kind of thing where it's quite dark, it's quite drab, it's quite dreary, and you're... You know, solving um, solving some puzzles, and you're kind of putting stuff together, and uh, and then when it gets to sort of this stuff, uh, colors start appearing. Uh, you get the idea of of color returning to the world. It's still quite dark. Um, you know, you're still solving bits of puzzles. You're moving through the world. Um, still quite still quite drowned out still quite muted and then when you get to sort of this section here you know things are starting to move you're starting to get leaves you know, lots more colours are coming back um, and yeah like just grows grows from there I was reading some more about the story of Persephone and um, I was talking and the sort of Roman equivalent as well. All building, yeah, it all builds and I like, so by the end you've got this big flowing kind of environment and uh, and yeah, it's it, it grows with you and and the idea is it's, it's meant to be as much as I'm kind of using the idea of Persephone and or, or Ceres in the in the case of Roman. Um, your Wi-Fi went down. Well, you haven't missed. You haven't missed much. We're just we're just kind of going over new parts and things. Um, we're glad to have you back. <laughs> um, but I, I like that because we were sort of talking about it being about seasons, uh, and the, and the, the 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 text prompt is story of seasons. Um, but I like the idea of it as much as it is uh, kind of much having that idea and about bringing color back to the world. I like the idea of it being a much more personal journey. So, you know, it's, it's, you've got, you've got your, you've got your, your young protagonist who is kind of slowly bringing themselves back into the world. Like, I like that idea, especially for me, at least after everything that's happened over the past two years, um, the idea of sort of opening up again to a certain extent, opening up and, and seeing things again and, st and allowing yourself to enjoy these things again. I think that's kind of what I'm trying to get at with this. Um, at least for the time being. 
Uh, again, that might change just with everything else with everything else that happens with soundtracks because you never really know. Um, but right, so we have our have our piano part now. Which I should probably quantize so it's in time. Feeling your way back. You've you've nailed. You've got it in a phrase there. Feeling your way back. That's the perfect phrase for it. <laughs> yep, I definitely messed that bit up. Okay, uh, that's this is the great thing about virtual instruments is you can cheat. God, I played that bit wrong. So just copy this over from here. <laughs> Do you want to sound like a Zelda game? Oh, come on. Right. Hmm? What did I do there? If I just... What on earth? <laughs> Seems to have made a mistake somewhere. There we go, there it is. Okay, so we'll just, what we'll do is we'll just take that out, chop that out, put it in there, and then we should have. Lovely, lovely professional piano part. <laughs> Definitely played in one take. Definitely not chopped up and put back together again. Let's... That's nice. That could work as a nice little sort of opening titles. I don't know if it's worth, hang on, let's, in terms of I stick it up a, an octave, see if this sounds better. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Like, there are so many things that I'll just leave in and then catch them later but then it's an important thing to remember is that is how much you can get away with uh, as a <laughs> it's, <okay. laughs> uh, it's surprising how much you can get away with um, but I, I think that comes down to the fact that I think people the majority of people that listen to music that listen to a piece of music they're kind of you're kind of it's a friendly audience you know like i feel like nobody goes nobody goes into a piece of music not wanting to like it or like looking for things to complain about um so i think i think you could kind of say the same thing about dming i think to a certain extent um not that i would know i'm not a very seasoned dungeons i think i've only played dungeons and dragons once i'm afraid i'm ashamed to say um let's add this to our lo-fi. Okay, that's nice. So, 
I like how that sounds. I really like how that sounds, but I think it could do with just a little bit more texture. So I'm going to bring in our trusty electric 200, which is uh, our um, Wurlitzer. And let's add... What, oh, what was it? I had a very specific one I wanted to use and I can't remember what it was called. Is it ripples? Has it been taken away? Am I being... No, there it is. Ripples. Okay. The legend feeling. Thank you. Okay, so... I'm going to do the exact same part. I'm just going to stick it on here and let's see what it sounds like with them together. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I think that might be a bit too much, uh, but at the same time, since we're here, let's see what it sounds like. What if I bounce it up an octave? I, that's way too much, but what does it sound like? No, that's, that's not really... it's not adding any definition. <laughs> the Legend of Tin Can Audio. <laughs> it's a very... it's not a particularly good book. Uh, okay, that's that's not working. Um, what else have we got here? Let's... Sorry, I'm making some white noise things now. It's room temperature, what does that sound like? That's nice, that's kind of more what we're going for. Watercolor art book. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so again, I like that, but I'm going to try something else instead. So there's a synth that I use occasionally called Oxy, uh, which I'm just loading up just now. And I want to see what it sounds like if I use some very old 90s-esque piano sounds. Actually, no, I've got, I've got a better one I can use. Hold on. That would make millions. I really doubt that, but thank you. So this is one of my favorite plugins to use. It's going to take a while to load. It might actually break my computer. It is a Sega Mega Drive. Um, Sega Mega Drive. Uh, I want all your music for packs for music in Minecraft. Minecraft was a big, like I remember when Minecraft was new and I was playing and, I, and uh, finding the music and really, really enjoying the music for Minecraft. So, Thank you. That that's really nice that you want to play my music in Minecraft, considering that's where I got a lot of influence from. So I, so this this is the Sega Sega Mega Drive one. It has some nice piano sounds that aren't playing for some reason. Oh, I know what it's doing. Right, so we can't use that one, but we can do this. I think that's nice. I think that sounds real good. Uh, Sounding more like you now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's try something. So, I'm going to move these over here. 
put it um, pop these here. So how about this is your title screen? Just this for your title screen. I think maybe take that one out. So you've just. Oh, hello there. A little bit more space. Stick that on. Oh, sorry. Stick that on there. This is exciting. This is interesting. Okay, uh, hang on. Right, I'm gonna crank out the, from yesterday, the CP. And I'm gonna, so that's still gonna play. up ah. remember it but like um, we have a second piece of music which I think is pretty good that's that's good that's that's your that's your title screen I reckon that's your I reckon that is your titles which are and then you go into the level you get Oh good, we have more than one piece of music. Oh, that makes me so happy. Amazing. Right, okay, so let us move these over here for a bit. You just go over there for a second. We'll come back to you later. Uh, we'll put a marker down. <laughs> the Legend of Dungan Audio, thank you. Uh, let's put this there, and then we'll call this main... Uh, oh, level music. These are very technical names. <laughs> Level music. Uh, we'll call this uh, main menu slash main theme. We'll call it. How do you come up with ideas for naming the pieces? Well, uh, for usually for making soundtracks, uh, when you are coming up with um, pieces, you're coming up with names for pieces specifically. You are um, what you're doing is you kind of tend to base the names off where the cue's supposed to lie. So a lot of the the names for the tower music, it kind of, at least for the part one, a lot of the names are derived from the lines where they kind of start or the like around about that area. Um, usually the names come afterwards. Um, usually the kind of working titles are just names for me to remember where they're supposed to go. <laughs> Uh, 
or for you know if I'm doing it for somebody else or like a film for instance I'll kind of label them by theme or by queue number or what scene they're supposed to be in for stuff like this it's a bit harder because we're coming up with everything from scratch but because it's for a game technically um and there's a very specific idea where each one's meant to go you kind of go with that the really hard part for this is coming up with a a game you know is coming up with a, coming up with a game to play it with um and coming up with a title for the actual game and coming up with a story that's the hard part with with something like this but um usually when 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 i'm doing soundtracks for things uh the names are fairly utilitarian at least to begin with um they tend to be oh this is scene 2 q1 you know and then you can maybe name them later like i if you're doing if i'm doing character themes as well i'll just name them theme for whoever um want to see what i've copied so unfortunately you can't post links in the chat uh but uh are you talking about music or are you talking about something else um but right let's get back to this let's get back to this do you have a particular media type that is your favorite to make soundtracks for uh it depends i mean i really like making music for audio drama uh but I'm kind of biased in that the majority of the music that I've made... Oh god, what is that? <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but thank you for thank you for posting it. That's intense. Okay. Um, do you have a particular media type? So I... Thank you. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. I'm not quite sure what that relates to. But uh, but thank you, nonetheless. Um, a lot of those characters I can't see, but uh, just on my... Uh... Oh, hang on, I can see them over here. Got, like, ducks and stuff. Thank you. Uh, so I, I like making music for audio drama. Um, but I'm kind of biased in that the majority of audio drama I've composed for, I've also been making myself. So I've kind of enjoyed a certain level of artistic freedoms. Um... I enjoy making music for film. Like, I think the problem with film is that there's such a, a, a sort of idea. It's in the Badger Badger song family. Thank you. <laughs> I get, you know, that's that's my reference. I'm a little bit older. Um, but also, I think with audio drama, at least in my experience of making music for audio drama and podcasting, I can take a lot of the influences I have from video games. Because uh, I would love to make music for video games, but I, I just haven't been able to really break into it. Um, mainly because it is an entirely new uh, entirely new area for me, like an entirely new community, an entirely new space. Um, and also, I don't know how to program at all. It's something I'm hoping to learn, especially next year as I go into being a freelance full-time. But, uh, but yeah, I would love to make music for video games. I, I really enjoyed making... Um, the the missing mountain for the previous OSD comp jam, and I'm very much enjoying this. Like I like the when you're doing music for video games, it's a different kind of music from when you're making films. When you're making films, you're kind of there to just kind of set dressing, just to push the mood just a little bit more. Um, whereas uh, whereas with video games and with audio drama, you've kind of got a bit more. Um, got a bit more freedom and you're kind of trying to influence how the player feels and how the, the player kind of um, influences, uh, influence the player at least, try and set the mood, set the tone and kind of, again, kind of with audio drama, set the mood because there's a lack of visuals or there's a lack of kind of obvious clues as to how you're supposed to feel, whereas you have that in film. I hope I'm making sense. I'm aware I'm kind of rambling a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Audio in particular is quite... Mainly because programming audio is extremely difficult. I, I learned this the hard way. Uh, I've experimented with playing, with making like text games and like uh, visual novel kind of stuff. And getting audio to work on them is very difficult. Like I did not appreciate how hard it was. Um, but you've got to, got to learn somewhere. you got to start somewhere. So it's something I'm very much hoping to get into next year. Um, because I really like making stuff for video games. And I want to do it more... Um, 
But, I mean, the problem is, I can't draw or do any kind of art stuff. But, yeah. Maybe next time you could do killer music. Well, the next the next OST comp jam, we should wait and see. We could wait and see. Um, I've worked in a couple of small studios, and it's rare to have in-studio audio people. Yeah, um, the problem is that most in-house audio teams... Uh, you need to they do the sound and the music for most kind of indie studios, which I really like. Um, but I think it's the same, at least when it comes to, to freelancing, it's the same issue that happens in films. Like when when I was getting trying to break into film music, the issue was that I was that it's in Scotland at least it's very small teams of people who all kind of knew each other from either university or or film school or whatever, and every filmmaker knows a guy who does music and they end up doing the soundtrack. And I can't complain because that's how I got most of my work and that's how I got most of my experience was through a team of filmmakers who I'd met at university and then decided to form like a production group. So that's how I got my kind of early jobs. Um, but uh, So I think it's probably the same thing with the world of, of video game music and video game audio. It is something I want to do. It is something I want to try and do. But my kind of, my kind of way of doing stuff, and I've done this for film and audio drama and all stuff, is to just go right. I'll tell you what. I'll do everything. I'll I'll make my own stuff. I'll make my own stuff. I'll do everything. Um, so I'll learn how to do all of it, and then m get good enough so that people notice, and then hopefully people will hire me to do the specific thing I want to do, uh, which is music. Um, on their on their various things, so I'm not. I think it's going to be slightly more complicated this time around because it's making video games rather than, you know, making audio drama or making films. But um, but that's an exciting thing. So I uh, I definitely want to try making video games and making music for video games. But I'm just aware of how hard it is, and and every time I try and learn, it uh, it demonstrates how hard it is. Bunny with a Switchblade asks, have you listened to the Hollow Knight soundtrack? Uh, my partner and I are obsessed with Hollow Knight. Um, my partner is uh, in the last stages of completing the game for the second time. Um, I've completed it once. Um, I do love the soundtrack. I like how... It's going to sound weird. I like how quiet it is. Um, it's not a tone I would normally like, and I think at first I wasn't particularly keen on it. But... Um, but yeah, no, I've really, really going to like it. Like, it's it's a very sad soundtrack, and I really like that. It just conveys this tone. And it's a good example of how video game music works, because you don't have... Um, you don't have a kind of an, an emotional counter... You don't have an emotional reference point when you're playing, so you... Uh, um, so it kind of... <laughs> you do have a Twitch helper... I don't believe I do have a Twitch helper. Is there is there, where is this Twitch helper? Um, but the Hollow Knight soundtrack I really like. Um, I like how it kind of sets the tone for the game, and I like music that has that kind of power uh, and that kind of responsibility. But right, sorry, right. Q and A over. Time to time to make some more time to make some more music. Let's get this piano melody sorted out. Let's, let's make this longer than it needs to be for the time being, and then we can just keep playing until we get bored. How does that sound? Piano 2. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, click track on. Let's go.
Okay. That went well. I think that worked really, really well. Let's give this a go. So we'll make that a loop. So that's a nice little... Uh, let's pop that in there. So this is our this is our opening menu. So this is our main menu music. So I'll turn the click track off so we can actually... Oh God. Sorry, I'll just clean that up. <laughs> yep, that, was, that sounded messy. Okay. Last bit sounds a bit dodgy, but otherwise I think we're okay. Okay, how long is that? Is that, how long is that for an opening title? Just over a minute? Yeah, okay, I think that's a nice enough, that's a decent enough. Um. Let's let's put a loop in just to frankly make up some time. Uh, let's put that back on. Come on, let me pop that on there. Okay. Uh, let's. How can we make that second? Can we make that ref repetition interesting? Let's find out. Please don't report me. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, but uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> ah, there we go. Still not happy with that last bit there. I'm just gonna quantize this. So I. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not too happy about that. Let's, uh, what note, what note is that? Let's pop that down there, so instead now it sounds like this. Much nicer. Just one note can make all the difference. Let's pop that in there so it's the same. This is 
is good. We have a piece of music. We we have a finished uh, finished piece of music. Um, I'm just gonna. Give me just a second. Let me just. This is a fun thing that can happen sometimes when you're making soundtracks, in that the idea that sticks isn't necessarily the first one. Because uh, what I'm what I'm genuinely thinking of doing is I think I'm I'm thinking we're gonna have to move some of this around, so like move the piano so it comes in earlier. Um, yeah, move that so that comes in earlier, and then it means so it means the piano is not coming in at the end. It's coming in more towards the beginning, um, especially because if if our op if we're opening with the piano, it's <laughs> uh, not quite. Uh, it used to be a lot more complicated. I'm very. It used to be a lot more expensive as well. Um. <laughs> I like how this is sounding. This actually sounds... it sounds nice and full and... We also now have a melody track, that, a melody file that we can now put onto other instruments, which is very handy. <laughs> it saves me having to memorize them. Because this could also be your save point, you know, you've you've reached a certain part of the game. Maybe you get a little bit of extra story, or maybe this is the, the cutscene music, like... reminds me of something. Thank you, Bunny with the Switchblade. That reminds me of something I was supposed to do and I forgot to do it, so thank you. Is it raining where I am? Okay. Great. Cuts in music. Bam. Done. So, Bunny with the Switchblade. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I thought to give this a little bit of extra atmosphere, uh, in particular at the beginning, because I like the idea that it's sort of, you know, if we go back to the picture, I like the idea that at the start it's very, um, it's very grey, it's very, uh, it's very sort of dreary. I like the idea of it just, it's starting out with rain uh so i kind of want to do a little bit of little 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 tiny cheeky little bit of sound design um so to do that i'm gonna have to first of all move my file explorer away from the uh from the thing so let's go to my sound library go to my rain folder <laughs> let's see let's pop this in Oh, that's me talking. Alright, you hear a little bit of car. That's not so good. It's almost kind of limbo esque, isn't it? See if I've got a better one. I've got Thunderstorm as well, though I'm not sure that's going to be quite as quite as good. Oh, 
Let's move that one over here for now. Hello and welcome to Ten Can Audio Listens to Loads of Rain Sounds. That's not that's I need to be a bit closer than that, I think. What have we got here? What's this? Ooh! I think I got a little bit too close to the rain there. Okay. Mm, I think... Thunderstorm, thunderstorm. No, I think I think the, this one's the best one we got, I think, actually. Oh, I like the idea of having a cat companion. I like that a lot. What do we think? Rain sounds? Yes? No? Maybe? I was maybe going to put some lo-fi filters over this, but I'm not sure that'll work now. These are all rain sounds I've recorded myself. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you the list. Um, I have a whole folder uh, in my library called Rain. Uh, I do love recording, you can never record enough rain sounds. Um, let me just get this, get this properly. Uh, it's in ambiences, rain. Yeah, so this is the rain folder. Uh, so <laughs> we have rain and drain, uh, rain and stream, which I guess is what this is, um, rain brackets outside brackets compost heap, which is the one I'm using for, for this one, uh, rain one, rain two, rain three, rain four, five, six, seven, eight. These are all, these were all, I think, recorded from a window. Uh, then you've got rain on window, rain under coat. Uh, so I had like, I was holding my coat up and the recorder was here. Uh, rain with cloth impact. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, and then I've got three different, four different thunderstorm sounds. Uh, what about hail? Uh, I don't have any hail sounds. I think the closest I can get is a thunderstorm. Um, but yeah, so the, these are all sounds I've recorded myself. Uh, I do have, if we go to places. Is it in places? Yeah, so I've got a couple of rainy street sounds as well. Uh, so even the rain folder doesn't have all the rain sounds in it. That, that's the level. So yeah, so this is rain with compost heap. Um, basically, in the garden space outside my flat, there's, there is a compost heap, and it was just pouring down with rain one day. I just ran outside with a recorder. and um, Rain hitting umbrella. I think... I, I think rain on cloth, I think, is the probably closest we're going to get to that. Because I think that does sound like an umbrella. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Um, I will get back to making music in a second. <laughs> uh, ambiences, rain. Yeah, so I think I think this is the closest we're going to get to umbrella. kind of your sort of umbrella sound. It's a bit noisy and not quite as clean as it should be. So I think if you if you combined that with the other rain sound um, have your slightly better like I think it's it's not the cleanest rain sound I have. But, uh, but yeah, so, so yes, you've got your, 
I think maybe fade it out here just so it doesn't become too much of a thing, you know? Hitting leaves. I don't think I have that. No, I think the closest we'll get is this one because it's hitting... It's actually hitting organic material, you know? Uh, I don't... I, what is what is ring with cloth impact? What is that? Let's give this a go. Oh! Ooh, here we go. That's slightly... You can kind of hear it a little bit. Well, here's an idea. Why don't we layer them both on? Oh, it's very heavy. It's heavier now. <laughs> ah, so that, that's a much heavier rain sound than than that. I, I think I prefer this one. But hang on, let's... Or maybe not. Thank you, we've got some nice, lovely rain texture now. So I'm gonna just have a nice little fade out, so... Stops raining, and then... Stuff starts happening. That's nice, that sounds lovely. I'm gonna throw that down here. This is good. I'm liking how this is sounding. It's very, very good. So, uh, I've just loaded up my Sega Mega Drive uh, synthesizer. For a very specific purpose, because there is there is a particular sound that I I use it for, and I you recognize it. Let's turn that down a bit. It makes a really satisfying. Um, it's got a really nice beep sound. So I normally use it for. I kind of use it like you can hear it in the tower soundtrack. You can definitely hear it in like. Uh, stuff like the Tin Can soundtrack, the Tin Can theme tune. Um, it's just a really good beep and I kind of use it for everything. And it's really nice for adding just that little bit of extra colour. So if I add it in here... Just a little bit of extra nice stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, you can't post links in the in the chat. It just just by blanket them out. It just means that they just were safe from spam more than anything else. Because I don't have mods at the moment. It's just me. So just please don't put links in the chat. <laughs> It's working. Okay, I think that needs to be a little bit quieter to begin with. Ah, oh, you can't hear that, can you? Okay, so that needs a bit of extra bit of extra Leads. 
sounds. I think we're getting there. I definitely think we're 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 almost there with it. Um, I'm not sure I'll keep the idea of a boss theme, just because I think I quite like this as much as I said. As much as I went into this going, I'm not going to make this another ambient, um, another ambient kind of sound, but uh, another ambient sounding soundtrack. Um, but uh, it seems to be that's where it's going, but I'm still very happy with it. Um, so I'm not sure a boss thing's gonna work. But we'll wait and see. Hypno's gone to sleep. I like that. Is there a reason this isn't playing? Ah, oh, that'll be why. Because uh, the volume was turned down. That'll be why. Hmm, I like it. Needs to come in a bit later, though. That's adding just a nice little extra bit of texture, which I really like. happy with how that's turned out. Okay, let's let's have a listen to the, the, the level music that we've got so far. And just see how it's sounding and see think of, and maybe try and come up with where we're gonna go next. Um so wait let's, let's have a look. Thank you. 
All right. That's better. <laughs> Okay, so there's interesting places it can go. Um, I like the idea of there being like a slightly more kind of interstitial. Uh, so here's my thinking, right? We have so we're playing about with this idea of opening up to the world again, right? And we've kind of got this nice piano theme here. So. I like the idea of there being a piece of music that plays when you maybe find a memory or something, you know? You find a memory of something and it causes you to remember things. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what that would sound. I like the idea of it maybe being like the opening theme, but maybe like run through like a lo-fi kind of thing. Uh, I've heard of the Lotus Eaters. As in the... I'm thinking a lotus flower, I think. There's a, there's, a, there's a band. Flying Lotus, sorry, that's what I'm thinking of. The Lotus Eaters. Is, no, I haven't. If, if you could... As in, like, a... Is it, like, a thing in nature, or is it, like, a... Like, a game? Like, I'm so uninformed when it comes to this stuff. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So let's give that a go. Let's try to work out how to do Right. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. So this is going to absolutely, once again, completely ruin, probably ruin my computer, but we'll see. So if I, we're going to load up the other piano plugin that I really like. Uh, firewood. So this is the firewood piano. So it's an upright. It's kind of an old upright piano this time around. Um... So let's pop that in there. It's going to be the same, same track, S same as the 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 piano thing. Did I put a marker down? No. Um. Is it still load? Yeah. Okay. It's still loading up. There it is. <laughs> So these, because these plugins are very big, they take a while to load. And my computer is being used quite a lot when because I'm streaming. So, so it's going to take a while to... I'm going to call this Lo-Fi Piano. loved ones and stayed on the island. I like that actually. This is sounding real good though. Like, I've never, uh, I've never really compared the two piano sounds, so it's nice to have a little bit of extra comparison. Another cool thing about this this particular piano plugin, if I load it up again, and then so it has a specific setting where it uses warps, warped pianos. So if we just play it on its own, I don't know if it'll lo load it yet. 
it'll need a while to load. But um, it's nice. Kind of mics placed on a different part of the. I quite like this. Really nice about that. I'll tell you what, tell you what, I think we can actually do something with this. Let's have a look. So, stick this piano warps in here. Ooh, that's nice. So you notice when they're not there, adds a nice bit of extra texture. There's some stuff we can do around panning, but we'll probably do that later. This is sounding really nice. I'm... I'm not looking forward to mixing it, because I feel like mixing it is going to take a very long time. Um, but at the same time it sounds pretty, pretty rad. Spotted. There we go. And if we send that through the lo fi filters. Oh. Oh, listen to that. Sound. That's that is sounding so nice. That's going through the the lo-fi filters there. Listen to that. I am liking that a lot. So what I want to do with this one is I'm going to try running it, seeing I can get like a nice lo-fi sound out of it. Because I like the idea of it being like a memory kind of thing, at least for for this particular bit. Uh, so let's let's see. Let's see. I haven't actually played around with this a lot, so I'm interested to see what there is. If there's a nice kind of piano plastic wrap so far, sound like a Mellotron piano. Let's give that a go. Why not? Okay, that's that sounds terrible. <laughs> what on earth? That ain't sounding good. <laughs> Let's try a different way. Uh, uh, so we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way since I don't know how to use that yet. So let's run it through an EQ.
and then run this little vinyl simulator on it. <laughs> Don't press that button. I don't... Mm, I'm not a fan. I don't think it's working, to be honest. I kind of just like it on its own. Hmm. What happens if we fire it straight after the track? Is that gonna work? I think we're nearly there, honestly. Uh, let's add. What happens if we put the. I'm just thinking for something to kind of. to kind of help it with the transition.
in there. Oops. out of time. Yes, let's pop this down here. Okay, so let's... One more thing to add, I think. And then... I think we're done. Honestly, I think we're more or less done. Uh, so what do we need to add? We need to add some drums. But what kind of drums, I hear you say? Well, let's... I think... Start with some... Start with a drum machine. We'll add that in, and then we'll we'll go from there. Uh, right. Uh, it's a new computer, isn't it? Right. Well, we'll do something else first then. Try this. Ooh, actually, yeah, and we should start with that. Um, this is just a cheeky thing. I'm not sure it's going to work. I mean, 
As far as Twitch is telling me, everybody is still here. I think everyone's just listening to the music, and that's absolutely fine. Quiet sounds. Choir sounds really nice. Like, so, if you're interested in music, honestly, the Spitfire Labs, it's like a collection of free instruments, and there are so many of them. Uh, hang on. Uh, actually, no, I'll, that's a conversation for another time. But, yeah, like, you get so many... Oh, it's tasty. Tasty choir sounds. Oh. Oh, yes. Sounded real good. I was gonna add an organ, but I, this is much better. There is actually another thing I wanted to... This is what happens at the end. I'm just like, ooh, ooh, one more thing. Ooh, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, where is it? It is the Onde Musical. Um, what are we going to call it? Let's do, the, let's do the ribbon one. Oh, it's not loading. Is that what's, what's wrong? Oh, is it too high? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, uh. See? Hack musician, I tell you. Right. Oh no. Anything is it? Yeah, let's get rid of that and we'll turn this instead into our drum track. Drum track. Baby love drum track. Okay, here we go. Um just to go on. Yep, so we have uh, got our keyboard drums. So, because I, I can't, I don't have the space for a real drum kit, but the Spitfire, Spitfire Audio's Labs drum kit is real, real good. Um, I think you, what's this? I think you could one or the other. I sing in a choir with an organ and it's a big sound. I do, I do like, like when I was doing the tower, a lot of the kind of big sounds were choir and organ. Like I love putting the organ sound on everything. Um, but I think I really, I think I just want to have the choir for this one. But what I really want to do is I want to have these kind of quiet, um, um, let's have a look. This might be too much, but we'll soon find out.
What do you reckon? Too much? I'm going to kind of crush it down so it sounds a bit more lo-fi. What do you think? Let's record it and then we can play around with it and see what happens. Um... I don't know if it's better with the ride symbol. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not sure about the drums either, but I kind of want to, I'm going to record them and then I'm going to play around and see if I, because just because I think, I think as much as I like the way it's sounding right now and with the choir, I think it just needs just something just a little bit extra just to push it through to the end. Um, but I will record the drums and we can go from there. So let's see how we go. Let's have a play around with it because something that I have found is with drums, you can do so much with drums just in terms of how they sound. Uh, so, first things first, let's get some reverb on them. Oh, that's a big old drum sound. Uh, let's see what happens if we bit crush it. That does literally nothing, so... <laughs> uh, right. I've gone completely the wrong tack. Here is a separate idea. Um... Mute that for now. Uh, what do I need? I need a s to order. Load up Sforzando. Load up a kick drum, which I believe is down here. K. 
kick there we go. Let's get a kick drum on the go. I did this for the for the tower and really liked it. So you have a Oh, that sounds a bit too much like a thing. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. That's wrong, isn't it? Hi-hat. Uh, kick! There we go. So this might sound a bit better. the suggestion of drums without it being quite in your face uh i've because i used used that for the yeah that doesn't that doesn't work okay let's nope 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 get rid of those up to that, stick it on a snare thing, and then you get a nice... It was kind of what I'm going for, but I'm really wanting to just really trying to try and plug out any life that these drums have. Uh, let's see, what's it called? Was it called? Yes, it was this. I remember this having some very ugly sounds, but you can absolutely do something with them. Yep, no, I know. Well, you don't have presets anymore? Oh, okay. Let's get rid of the dry signal. Slightly more, slightly more subtle. And then 
we can do is we can send it to the lo-fi verb, just like everything else. little bit of extra, a little bit of a... How are we doing? And bring the rain back in at the end, how does that sound? So you bring back that kind of seasons idea, you know? So it brings it right back down. Okay, I think we're good. I think, I think we might be done. I think we might be done recording stuff. Um, cause I think the, the next, the next kind of part, I guess, is mixing and things, which I'm probably not gonna stream just because it's a lot of very fiddly, fiddly changes and a lot of kind of fiddly, um, adjustments and things to it as well. So I'm probably not gonna do that on stream, but what I will do uh, is let's listen to the whole thing uh, right from the beginning. So we'll go from the main menu uh, and then we'll do the kind of main level music, the main game music. And then I think we'll call it a night because I think this has been a very successful, a very successful stream and a very successful uh, recording. Um, it's good. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will load this in. So it should go straight from one to the other. Let's move this over just a little bit further. Okay. Actually, let's move this back a little bit more. And then you can move a little bit further as well. There we go. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm going to mute my microphone for this, but uh, yeah, let's, let's see what the whole thing sounds like together.
there we go. We have we have a soundtrack. We have uh, we have some we have an entry an entrance. We have something we can enter into the OST Comp Jam number three. Um, it needs a lot of mixing. Uh, the some of the tracks are way too loud. Some of them are way too quiet, and a couple of things need to be tinkered with. But I, I think we got it. I think we're there. I think. Um, yeah, I think we're there. I'm really happy with this. I'd be... So that's two tracks. We've got one track that's just over a minute long. Oh, sorry, two minutes long. I beg your pardon. And then the second track is, what, six minutes? Second track is seven and a bit minutes. It's excellent. Very happy with that. Amazing. Okay, yeah, so this is us. This is... Uh, that's that's our entry. I'm going to turn the music back on. Hang on. Um... That's us. That is the, uh, just makes it slightly more chill on. Um, that's us. I think that is, that is, uh, that is our entry to the OST comp jam finished. Um, I might still stream tomorrow. I might do some more fiddling with it tomorrow, but obviously it depends on how I'm feeling with COVID and, um, yeah, I think tomorrow, if I do stream, it'll be more trying to work out the track order, trying to work out names for things, and then also trying to come up with a final idea for what the story is going to be and and what the game is like. That sort of the, the sort of more design side of things. Um, but on the music side, I'm really happy. I th I think this sounds fantastic, and um, yeah, I'm 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 excited. I'm excited to put it in. I'm really proud of it. So uh, I'm going to call it a night there. Um, I'm a, I was only meant to, I only kind of planned to go for two hours and we're heading on to three, which is also great. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for, uh, joining me tonight. Uh, this has been a really fun stream. I really love doing these. Um, moving into the new year, I definitely want to make stuff like this more of a regular thing, more of a, um, uh, just coming around, playing with sounds, playing with ideas. I might even, you know, take prompts from people. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for being here. I'm going to leave you with, with the, the tower soundtrack that's playing behind me, I guess. Um, and yes, I uh, will hopefully see you tomorrow. Best place to keep a track of that is on Twitter at Tin Can Audio. Um, but if we are streaming, it'll be right here at 7 p.m. UK time tomorrow. So thank you very much. And, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your, the rest of your week and the rest of your weekend. See you later.